Just got the camera in, push downstream, council main, right there, up the manhole in the front left of the property. I can show you the jump up. Council IO there. Just got the camera in from an I.O. on the back left corner of the property in the sewer again. Just push the camera to the jump up. Just pull back. Show you there's no issues in the line. Pause it and record downstream from the jump up down to the main. Just got the camera pushed in from a stack under the house down to an IO, which we're going to have to pause and record downstream from there. Pull back, show you the line, there's nothing, no issues in the start. I've just got the camera down from an inspection at the front right of the property, uh, pushed all the way down to the junction where we had the camera in before, past the overflow and it has a belly in the pipe, about a metre deep we've located this junction. I'll just pull back, show you where it's holding water, pretty much from the back left of the property, we're at junctions all the way to the front, front left at the 90 bend, just about here, all the way back to the bend.
starts holding water all the way to this 90 bend, which is on the other side of the retainer. Just pull back and show you this section. We've already recorded this line up to, a, up to that 90 bend. this line junctions into the overflow just pull back it wasn't capped just looks like the flexi is pushed against the TBC so the water is getting away it's just at the start where the flexi is it's tracking behind the PVC in between water going in from the front front house of the pit and it looks like it's charging this line and it's been capped off so water's just backing up under the house just got the camera in under the house um, down the stormwater where the aggie line was dropping in and it looks like it's been capped off in this section around about the same area where the guys have um, where there's a void in the other pipe. Just pull back and show the area. Need to do some more investigation to see whether the stormwater pit out the front is charging this line. It's just under the house here. This Aggie we've pulled apart to get into it. Camera in at the back of the property at an inspection opening. Just push down the stormwater heading towards the pit in the back corner of the property. I'm just going to pull back and show you the line.
introduction is the overflow and picking up a few damp pops for your recording from the first section. This is the damp off on the back left hand side of the property. junction to the overflow for the hot water. Looks like there's a void in this section of pipe, it's been cut into. Push the camera upstream to check if it's any damp pipes upstream. Just go back and back. Just really Looks like the stormwater has been damaged when they've these pipes in through here, only about two or three hundred from the inspection. Just pushed upstream from this IO and located the pipe is the down pipe in the back right corner of the property. Just pull back and show you the area. Section where the break is, the section here. Upstream. Job numbers B01405 at 67 Halicia Circuit in Mount Cotton. Just got the camera looking at a yard gully at the side of the property. Yard gully up the top of the retainer wall here that drops into this one. 
Looks like the house has moved, which is causing a belly in the pipe, which is causing it to overflow out of this yard gully when there's heavy rain. We've checked down the line past the overflow tank. We haven't found out where it drops into the main line yet, but we're going to do some further investigation. I'll just push down and show you where it drops, comes out of the water, which is here. Pipes clear from here all the way down where we've camera. Picks up a couple of down pipes. Investigation down the line. 